The Orlando police have closed their 13-year-old investigation now into the disappearance of Jennifer Kessie, and the case is in the hands of the missing woman's family. Kessie's parents sued the department for the case file, and tonight they have that lengthy report in their hands. Channel 9, Shannon Butler broke the story this morning. Shannon, here's the thing. We may never know what's in those documents, though. We might not because as part of this deal, the documents are not being made public. But if the private investigator hired by the Kessie family either finds her or a suspect, they will hand that information not over to Orlando police. Instead, the FBI who will take it from there. Jennifer Kessie's parents have won a years long fight to get access to their daughter's police case file. They will now see every tip every video, every clue Orlando police have ever gathered about their missing daughter. It means a huge step forward for uh, Jennifer and the possibility that we have to see if we cannot find some information to try and locate her. Kessie vanished in 2006. There have been no suspects or leads to her whereabouts. Orlando police said the investigation was still active, but her parents argued the case has gone cold. This settlement just signed will have Orlando police turning over all of their files and walking away from the mystery. The settlement terms reading, quote, petitioners hereby request that the city of Orlando Police Department cease their active criminal investigation. The deal now leaves the search for Jennifer Kessie up to her family and a private investigator. That's a risk. Absolutely. We're ready to take. We're ready for, willing to, and, um, excited about. The PI will start from the original tips that came in on January 24th, 2006 and work from there. It will take months, maybe even years to figure out what happened, but they know they may never know. But for now, they have hope that the right clue is hidden in those files somewhere. Now, the Kessie family paid more than $18,000 for those unredacted versions. Over the next few months, they will get a little at a time. They already have eight binders in hand.